Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are looking at the ultimate old dirty bastard. Now, uh, I'm a little quieter than normal because it is very late at night here in the Phantom Zone. Uh, this was a Valentine's Day gift to me from Mrs. Troublemaker, who is currently asleep upstairs which is why I'm trying to be kind of quiet. Uh, I had a very long day at work. I came home and I watched Boozin' with the Toys, uh, the major wrestling figure podcast live uh, stream that they do once a month and had a nice little beverage, a glass of Elijah Craig, and I'm feeling, I just feel like I'm in the right mood to unbox this figure. Valentine's Day was yesterday, and I just haven't had an opportunity to open it up, and I knew I wanted, like this was tops on my Super 7 Ultimates wants list. I knew I wanted to unbox it, and this is the first opportunity I've had to do it. I just feel like I'm in the right frame of mind for an ODB figure right now. I gotta get this thing out of the box. Now, what I wanted to do, well, let's look at the figure, and then I'll show you uh, how my, my dreams got dashed. Uh, so, uh, excellent shot of ODB. Uh, the one from his card, from the album cover that we all know so well from the, uh, <laughs> the ID card. Uh, <laughs> this is, I, I, if, look, I think ODB is one of the greatest artists of my generation, there is so named because there is no father to his style. And that is the truth. There is nobody in hip hop that has ever been like him. Nobody ever will be like him again. He was an absolute treasure to the art of hip hop. Uh, without ODB Wu Tang. Look, Wu Tang clan is probably the greatest hip hop group of all time, but without ODB, they would not have been as special as they were like when they hit he's just there's just nobody else like this guy so anyway i wanted the super seven figure uh packaging looks great and of course it has the uh nice glossy i'll keep this box because it's so awesome uh we know the slip covers are going away on future releases oh my gosh look at that uh but this one has it, and then on the back of the box, we've got a little biography that I'm going to read now, because I just feel like doing that. Uh, Russell Tyrone Jones, better known by his stage name, Old Dirty Bastard, often abbreviated as ODB, was an American rapper and producer. It makes me sad to say was. And, like, it's, this may sound messed up. It sounds, it's right though that he's no longer with us in a really weird way like he was too much for this world the people artists like this don't make it to a ripe old age i don't know it's weird anyway uh he was one of the founding members of the wu-tang clan a rap group primarily from staten island new york old dirty bastards debut solo album returned to the 36 chambers the dirty version is certified platinum with over a million albums sold 2020 marks its 25th year anniversary since the album's release i can't believe that 1995 it doesn't listen go listen to return to the 36 chambers right now and tell me that sounds like it's 25 years old tell me it sounds like it's aged a day uh just uh, i'm gonna go listen to it as soon as i'm done with this review uh, i got a couple years ago i got the the vinyl and it's just it's i don't know it's incredible all right let's open this up and take a look at it I love, I have made no bones about the fact that I love Super 7, that I have a bit of a bias for their products. I am well aware that I sometimes don't judge them as thoroughly as I should because I love what they do so much that I'll admit I, I cannot be fully objective about Super 7 stuff. Uh, I am aware of 
you know, some of the challenges that, that they have, some of the things they need to improve on. But I love the heart of what they do so much that I just, I can't be objective about them. So if you are a Super 7 hater, and there are a lot of you out there, uh, this video is not going to satisfy you. None of my Super 7 reviews are going to satisfy you because I just, I can't be fully objective about Super 7 because I'm so predisposed to just love what they do. Uh, man, got a nice little soft goods jacket here. Little, little light uh, spring jacket, spring in New York jacket. Uh, let's see. He, oh, we've got plastic tabs holding him in. That's why I was like, where's the back of the twist tie? This is weird. Okay. I've got a, I've got a whole stack of plastic tabs over here that I haven't thrown away yet. Just because I've been, uh, my day job has been super, super busy lately. Like really good busy. I'm accomplishing a lot and I feel good about what I'm doing, but I'm definitely behind on like cleaning and straightening and and whatever oh wow okay we'll get into this in a minute this is really cool i kind of wasn't expecting the this to be constructed like it is i can't believe we've got the bottle wrapped up in the bag it's amazing the microphone out of there Alternate portraits. I'm going to be really careful with the heads because, oh, okay, so it looks like these we've got uh, plastic holding these, or I'm sorry, tape holding these plastic pieces in. So maybe the heads aren't as like snug in there as I was afraid of because I'm really worried about the dreads like just breaking off. So I'm going to be as careful as I can be popping these heads out of here. Okay, we're good. Okay. I guess those aren't really dreads. They're braids. But um, regardless of what they are, they are protruding from the head sculpt and are therefore potentially... Ugh, come on. Why are you going to put tape directly on... Uh, the sticker, it almost, the tape almost pulled the sticker off of his, um, what, food stamp, welfare, whatever card that it is. Look at that. And see, I will acknowledge that, come on now, Super 7, don't put tape right on that. That's just ridiculous. All right, let's get that tape out of there. We've got a bunch of alternate hands to take a look at. You know, it's funny, uh, his name, Old Dirty Bastard, uh, obviously well known for some filthy rhymes, some of the filthiest rhymes ever dropped, uh, but his figure does not, and I mean, he wasn't necessarily known for a middle finger, his figure does not have a middle finger hand. Uh, the first Super 7 figures to have middle finger hands. There is still glitter left over. Check out audiblearmy.com to find out why there's glitter in my workspace from some piece of trash Mercari seller. Um, the first middle fingers to come with an action figure uh, will be the Super 7 Major Wrestling Figure Podcast Series 2 figures. Not Old Dirty Bastard. But, but again, Old Dirty Bastard was not particularly known for uh throwing up a middle finger he was he was his uh his dirty was classier than that man look at these glasses oh my gosh this portrait okay so taking a look at the figure standard super seven articulation uh which as i have said many many times is what i like i this articulation scheme that minimizes the the ugliness of joints and the impact joints have on a figure's profile this is my preferred type of articulation the double jointed uh a little 
schmutz in the armpit there, probably some plasticizer or something. Um, the double jointed elbows and knees don't always look really great to me. Uh, so he's just got a big black t-shirt on and the black t-shirt is a soft, like rubber material that flexes with the figure. It actually has a really nice feel to it. And his jeans are that same material. And what Super 7's done, they've got kind of one of their standard crotch pieces on here. But because the shirt hangs down, it looks, I mean, to me, this looks fine. And it's, it's, it, it, while Super 7 does everything they can to maintain the aesthetics and the profile of the figure, uh, you know, it is still an action figure. It does still have to have joints. It's wild the way they've constructed this. So this is, the shorts are also a soft rubber. Uh, so you can see where the joint is right here. But it lines up. And you've got uh, the posability that you would want to have. The knees, standard Super 7 knee joints, ankles. Look at the boots. The boots look great. And stand, I mean, modern you know, ankle articulation, the tread, look at the treads on these. Oh wait, I need to zoom. It's time to zoom in. All right, there we go. Treads, look at 2023 ODB TM. That's wonderful. Uh, you've got a pretty nice deep, considering the laces on the front of the boots, they've done a nice job with the hinge right there. Uh, you can actually see the laces are sculpted while they're not painted on the hinge. They are sculpted in. You can see you got a big paint flake right here. That's rid of that. Uh, but pretty good articulation. I mean, this is a good range of motion, I guess. Uh, for the boots. The knees, I mean, he's not Spider-Man. He's not uh, swinging through town. That's a different member of Wu-Tang Clan. But good posability. I mean, for a rapper, he, he's going to do everything you need him to do, I think. He's got the glasses with the missing lens. Uh, the gold is shiny. It's like a metallic-looking gold. Headband looks great. Braids look great. Did a really, really nice job with the facial hair. It's actually sculpted and has, like, the way that they've painted it looks right. This is awesome. All right, let's check out. Oh, he's so good. I'm very, very happy with this figure. It's simple, and it's funny. It's just, it's a dude in a t-shirt and jean shorts. Uh... But it's, you know, it's a unique, one-of-a-kind dude that I've got a figure of to put up next to my Andre the Giant and Papa Emeritus and Ninja Turtles, you know. Uh, so he's got his bottle of, I'm sure, water. He's just staying hydrated, right? Uh, wrapped up in the paper bag. Nice sculpt, nice clear, translucent-looking bottle. Looks good. Uh, we already looked at the card, the identification card that the, unfortunately the tape was stuck to it and peeled some of the front off. Pretty weak. Super 7. I like that it came with this, but honestly, this I wish this was just tampoed on instead of this being a sticker. But, I mean, look at the detail. Hang on, let me get my... If, if ever I needed... My magnifying glass, I think now is the time. There we go. So look at look at that tremendous print on there. I mean, it looks great. It's just the, the quality, the fact... Uh, hang on. The 
the fact that that's a sticker is just disappointing. Okay. Remember this review brought to you by Elijah Craig. Uh, he's got the microphone. Microphone looks re really good. Look at the mesh up at the top. Uh, nice silver paint on it. Silver paint on the button. Actually got the little uh, display sculpted on there. Looks great. An assortment of hands, of course. Uh, pointing hand. Wide open. A uh, couple of different open hands. A uh, hand for the mic. I don't know. That, se that seems a little small for the mic. That might be for... I don't know what that's for. That might... Maybe that's just for a gesture. Because this is for... Well, this is for the bottle. Obviously. Well, I say obviously. I don't know that it's going to hold it all that well. Might have to do a little stretch in there. Oh, there we go. It's actually... I'm wondering if it's got a sculpt. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So, yes. That's for the bottle. That's... This has got to be for the mic. But I feel like it's a little snug. Like, he's not going to hold the mic like that. Right? And then that you'd think would be to hold the card, but there should be, oh, there is the thumb. Yeah, there is a slot between the thumb and the uh, finger. See there, there's space right there. But if you put this card between that, you're going to rip that sticker right off, I think. I don't know. Let's try it. Why not, right? I don't know which way to try and slide it in from. Yeah, that's just going to pull the sticker right off. Sorry, Super 7. I cannot give you a passing score on oh wait oh there we go okay i was wrong you just push sort of upward under the thing you can see just come on uh but push upward under the thumb there and there you go so that works like that i find it hard to believe that's how he's supposed to hold the mic though that can't be right but this this hand can't hold the mic huh I mean, I guess you can just jam it way down in there. That, that's not great. I'm going to have to say the microphone interactivity is not the best. There should be another hand for that microphone, uh, unless I'm missing something. But I do like all the gesturing hands here. Uh, and then we've got the alternate portraits. We've got... Again, looks great the way they've done the uh, gold fronts, the facial hair. Looks awesome. And then this is probably the one I'm going to display as much as I like the glasses. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and... There we go. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the one, right? Uh, and then he's got the jacket, which I don't believe I'm going to display him with the jacket. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like on, and then I'll make that decision. Oh, you got to take his hands off to get the jacket on, which I'm okay with actually, because when toy manufacturers 
make the sleeves wide enough to get hands through. They don't look right. They don't ever look right. So I'm actually pretty good with that being the case. Uh, okay, let me not get confused about what hand is what here. Once again, this review brought to you by Elijah Craig. And, and I guess a little bit by the Major Wrestling Figure podcast, because I would not have uh, normally, on a Thursday night, I would not have had any beverage. But when you're watching Boozing with the Toys, uh, you know, you want to you wanna have a little drink. So I'll be honest, not the like nicest soft goods jacket I've ever had, but once it's on, I, I can fiddle around with it a little more and get it to look good. Uh, once it's on, it's fine. I don't think I'll display him with it, but uh, I mean, it looks it's it's good, it's good enough. And to and honestly, I don't know exactly, like, I can't say I've seen a specific picture of what this jacket is supposed to be. So for all I know, it's perfect. But, I mean, speaking of perfect, that's, look at that. Uh, so there it is, the Super 7 Ultimates, Old Dirty Bastard. The, this was a must-have for me. I am absolutely delighted that Mrs. Troublemaker got it for me for Valentine's Day. She got so she got me this and uh, the Thundercats Ultimates Snarf, which I will be uh, unboxing soon enough here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. But what a combination! Old Dirty Bastard and Snarf. Oh, here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to put ODB's head and hands on a Cobra Trooper, but the Cobra Trooper doesn't work that way. So that's not going to happen. Uh, so anyway, there he is. Osiris, uh, Big Baby Jesus, uh, whatever other names he adopted that I can't think of right now because I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning. And it is now almost midnight. Uh, but anyway, I'm I am absolutely delighted with this figure. I will buy any ODBs that Super 7 does. I've bought his reaction figures. Uh, again, uh, a unique artist who left a heck of an impact on his art form. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things. And until next time, shame on you when you step two. Old Dirty Bastard, Brooklyn Zoo. Yo! And one last thing, as I was taking my thumbnail picture, I was like, how, do, how did I leave this out? My, uh, my Wu Baby tattoo. Because Wu Tang is for the children. So there it is. Unbelievable. Smash that like button if you like needless things.